If you found something on the ground, the first thing you would do with the ceramics is take a look at it for its decoration. They made this type of, des of design, they manufactured this type of design uh, from about the 1760s and up until the early 20th century. And you can still find it on reproduction chinas today. Now, the really early ones, you can actually see stippling in the pattern. The later ones from the late 19th century don't have the stippling. So that gives you a clue to your date. So you want to look at them really close and see if you can see uh, little bits of stippling in the design. The color on this particular one gives you a clue because this was a very popular color uh, between about 18. 40 and 1860 and they didn't manufacture the purple dye until about 1840 so that's going to give you a date then the design itself is a clue because in the mid-victorian era people were really crazy about uh, foreign places they were just starting the middle class was just starting to be able to travel because the steam engine had been invented now they could go to, to places like Jerusalem, uh, like Cairo, um, or across the United States on a train. And so they were very interested in these kind of fabulous faraway places. We could tell you, based on the shape of the dish, what kind of a vessel it was. So if you take a look at it, it has a foot ring on the bottom. It has a slope side, but it's not very high. So if you set it down like that, and you take a good look at it, it's not a full bowl, and it's nothing like a modern tea saucer. But if you knew something about the tea services of the 18th century, you would know that this was a saucer for a teacup. Yeah, one of the things that helped me when I first started was, um, my grandmother had an, an extensive china collection, but I went to her house one day and she actually laid out a dinner set and she explained to me what each plate and cup was. I mean, she knew, she's one of these people that could put like, you know, 16 forks and spoons on either side of the plate and tell you what each one of them was used for. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's accumulated knowledge, it's shared knowledge, uh, and it's knowing what the printed resources are and where to go and find them.